everything you've ever seen on screen is almost always a lie. These chips are lying to you. This burger is lying to you. This pizza is lying to you. And the prime suspects include Lynx Africa, Superglue and tampons. I don't believe you. Today, myself and Con are embracing the lies of the advertising industry and we're going to be ordering the worst takeaway we can find and see if we can give a five-star makeover to a one-star takeaway. Oh, that cheese is naff. Oh my God. Bosh! We like camera stuff. We're men. Interesting, sexy men. Look at how ridiculously big this light bulb is. It's like the back end of a bee. So to find the worst rated takeaway in Con's local area, along with many single women, I've gone on to the worst delivery app of all time, Just Eat. There's a grillish chicken, which I did look at, but it's got a 4.4 out of six. And I imagine it's named after Jack Grillish. That's poor. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, guess what team? Guess what team he plays for? Arsenal. No, Manchester Chippy. So I scroll all the way down to the end, and the worst rated takeaway is Chef's Peri Peri with one out of six stars. Poor quality, cold and late, not recommended. Straight to the point. We've got a classic beef burger for six pounds, one Italian salad for eight pounds. A salad's more than a burger. All right, mate. Peri Peri chips for two pound, five Peri Peri wings for four pound and one big Coca-Cola to see if we can make it ooh, sparkly and nice. It was off to Tesco and our shopping list included a sponge, Lynx Africa, bread rolls, sesame seeds. Can we please stop going down the refrigerated aisles because my, my willy's really small now. Cocktail sticks, shaving foam, this handy garden spray bottle, Oh, Jesus, sorry. That's just a nondescript liquid on my face. Super glue at a criminal price point, a new vessel for our liquid, and a little treat for the virgin. And finally, just two guys buying some tampons. Let's get some tampons. <laughs> our tools were bought, mouths were fed, and the sweaty bag of lies had finally turned up after 45 minutes. Don't mind me, I'm just having a really good time. And that's unfortunately gone. And look at this. Look at they delivered this as well separately, but you wasn't carrying it. No, oh, that because he faked the shot. Nothing is real. You know, Spain doesn't exist, mate. It's just more Portugal. The chips arrived looking floppy and sweaty, much like the big hog in your pants. The salad looked wonky with lettuce looking more damp than your big fat mama. Lettuce? Yeah. Let us avoid eating that at all costs. Disgusting. The burger looked standard, to be honest, but it made a horrible sound upon removal of the bun. That's what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> now ordering takeaway like this might be convenient, but it's not budget friendly and it's not healthy. However, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, which is convenient, budget friendly and healthy. HelloFresh slots perfectly into my hectic life. I don't have time to go to the shop and buy loads of food to try and figure out how to make something. I just want the exact amount of stuff sent to me. Okay, that's all I'm asking. No faff. HelloFresh gets rid of that. They send you exactly what you need, along with the instructions on how to make it. And then you'll be scrubbing it before you know it. It also means you can save money because you'll have the exact amount you need and not excess food that quite often goes off and you throw away and you have to buy another one. You'll always have the correct amount. Today I've made this garlic portobello mushroom naan eatsa, which for me is a definite six out of six stars. I've also started to go abroad a lot, which is no problem because I can cancel, pause, or change the delivery address whenever I'd like. Scan the QR code on screen now to get 60% off your first box plus 25% off your next eight boxes or click my link in the description and use my code 60Kieran. So apparently to make chips stand to attention, you stick them on cocktail sticks, arrange them on a bit of sponge and Bob's your uncle. So let's see if it works on these floppy bastards. Ah! You're telling me I've got to do this for every single chip? That already looks pretty good. And then we've got to do that. Oh, look All at right. that. 
get sticking. Do you think we have enough chips? Uh, yeah, I think we've got more. We should probably have less chips and I can learn how to deal with that problem. I reckon this would be a, a really good lo-fi hip hop situation. I reckon your video is getting a 10 out of 10. Like you're probably gonna lose subscribers. It wouldn't be the first time. I say a lot of controversial things. Like I don't like steak. Yeah. What type of human are you that you don't like chew meat? I eat chicken. I eat fish. Fish are the, hard, the hardest meat to track down, really, if you think about it. They're in the ocean. We can't brave that. Get yourself in the sea, my friend. Try and wrangle a cod. So far... So good. I think it's working. <laughs> okay, this is what we're working with. I feel like I'm playing dress up with food. Okay, right, at this point, I can just clearly see you eating full-on chips. No. It's a vile accusation. You know what's not a gateway drug to more chips? Sweet potato chips. I like sweet potato chips. Only if you have them quick. As soon as they're not warm, it's just like you're eating mush. Well, that's the same as saying, oh, I like Brussels sprouts. Is it? No, why do you actually like Brussels sprouts? Because you're eating it with bacon. So do you actually like the bacon or are you enjoying the Brussels sprouts aspect of things? I've never had Brussels sprouts. They've got really bad PR, so why would you try them? It's looking quite 2D. Bro, that looks sick. But I think this little Sorry. floppy one's letting everyone down. Mm. There are pills for that. That looks shit Busting. Hot. That is bussing. Busting. Seriously, but I'm, I'm gonna go bussing. Okay. Like, 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 that means like bottom, doesn't it? The light, when the lighting hits that, it's gonna be glorious. It already looks much better. So that's where the secret weapon, that's where the tampons save the day. Tampons and lighting. The two most important things to do with food. This lettuce looks old. It does have some good looking bits, so we will pick them out. We've got the old burger here, the old ugly bastard. We've got the, the St. Pierre Brie, a brioche bun as well. It's a good start because they look more golden. Can they pass the test? Do you know what test I'm about to do? Mature audiences only, please. Oh, look at the bounce back. Ah, oh. okay, that's a naughty bum. This one's good, too though. flat. That is, that is too flat. I'm sorry, hun. <gasps> Should have got a double. Oh, I made a big old tower. Maybe we can cheat it. Maybe we can cut that burger in half and make it look like it's double. I like it. More lying. Let's do it. <laughs> it's the same seeds. Are they all the same? I don't know. Oh, you love that. You love that. Yeah, and then I can eat the base because we don't need it anymore. And I like bread. This is art. This is like, you know that meme ages ago where it was like, they did surgery on a grape. This is that. There you go. He did surgery on a brioche. Yeah, this, our relationship has reached a new level. Did they give you sauce? They didn't. They didn't give me any sauce. I specifically said, can I have loads of sachets of tomato sauce, please? And they said no, in silence. Speaks volumes sometimes. One little star. One little star. I reckon we utilise some of that salad. Oh, 100%. Before, because 100%. We need this to is looking, it I don't really want to touch it, but I'm going to do it. This is looking sus underneath. That's good for no one. That just needs to be thrown away at first dawn. Yes, the first part is to give rigidity to the bun and the burger. So you've got to put in the foundations. We're not American. We like foundations here, all right? This burger, it's not going to blow away. It's gonna be good in a variety of weather situations because we put some paper on it. We make it are we making a double a two-tiered? I think we have to dissect the burger. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut the burger But in what's two. the right angle? Do you wanna do the honors? Exactly. Not really, but I'll do it. A fat old squelch. It's like a wet vagina. Not a nice squelch, it's not like that. Yeah, this is more like a like a swamp. We want all the nice looking lettuce just like sticking out. Yeah, we're gonna have to forego the cheese element. We don't have any cheese. Could do a saucy element. I'm convinced this is actually gonna look pretty tasty and I don't even eat beef. Well, not that sort of beef. Don't know if this is cheating. But I've just found it's a bunch not, of- nothing's cheating. I've just found a bunch of Nando sauces. Oh, it feels like a waste of Nando sauce. Come on, send it. That's it. Beautiful. Oh. It's getting there, it's that getting there. That good, it's though. getting there. Now, in the middle bun, put the bun on. Red onion. Red yeah, onion's a good yes. idea, look at that. <gasps> we have tomatoes. Oh, game changer. Who would slice them like this? A an animal. I ate Nando's far too much. Oh. 
Yeah, I think we've got, we got, we're leaning back a little bit. I feel like we need to come forward. We look a oh, bit like, you know, <laughs> like the London Council building in Central, which is a bit that. You're, you're not wrong. After I've gone through dozens and dozens of buns, I find one with the perfect shape. Then I carefully glue on sesame seeds to give it the perfect finished look. No, she doesn't. But that would take literally forever. I don't know why they don't just sprinkle them on. Make dabs, and then I'll take this and I'll put it in here. Oh, like ooh, I like that. Okay. Work smarter, Couple not harder. There. I don't know what a good ratio of... Just looks like a swastika now. That's not... They're very sorry about that. I went on a tour. <laughs> now we just go... Oh, get out of here. That's it. It looks good, it looks good. Incredible. Okay, now, with the wings, we stack them on top like this. I'm starving. This has not remotely made me hungry at all. It's actually put me off food. Oh, we're gonna make this olive look nice and shiny. Food stylist actually applies a dash of deodorant. So when the fruit is being photographed, the food stylist simply sprays it with some deodorant and it helps the fruit keep the shine. Finally, there's a good juice for that Lynx Africa set that your grandma got you for Christmas. Yeah, yes, give it that shine. Look at that olive. Look how shiny and beautiful it is now. Good hack, right? What does every fast food meal need? A cold beverage. Why don't you have Coca-Cola Original Taste, which is already open. One little star. I have fake ice cubes. These are made from plastic. Chuck a bunch of Some ice cubes, fake in, cubes there. in They're gonna float to the top, hopefully. And we can make it look cold. Still spraying the cup. Yeah. Making sure it's got enough. Yeah, yeah, good. Wait, why is the cup down there? Look at that. There is a different mode to this. Don't knock on my willy. I need that. <laughs> this has gone on for too long. This game has gone on long enough. Oh, shit. This is what it looks like now. I hope Bro, this... that looks sick. It looks good. I think it looks really good, even in this lighting. We'll wet the table. So when it does come time to film in it with like all the cool lighting, it will reflect. It's called a wet down. I'm gonna go for a trusty cyan and magenta. Actually, blue and orange is quite nice. Let me turn, let me turn these main lights off and you'll see a big difference. Bosh, look at it. You, you wanna eat at this place. It's actually called like a black bear burger or um, big batty gyaldum. And we'll give our restaurant like a jungle theme. Burgers do come from the jungle. I'm imagining I'm like a, I'm a, you know, apex predator. I say imagining, <laughs> pretty much real life for me. It looks good. It looks seriously good. Next up, another tampon trick. Nice. See, watching these adverts has really opened my eyes to the unlimited uses for tampons. It is tampon time. We've got some Lilith's 16 non-applicator smart fit, which is good. I got the regular size for your regular sized quim. <laughs> it looks like I've got like a clip to like a pistol. Oh wow. Expand, oh my God. It's, it's, it's like I've fallen off the Titanic and witnessed a life raft inflate. Okay, now take it out and put it behind the burger. Let's see if it's still steaming up. It is, it is. It's steaming up. Oh my lord. <laughs> Look at that. Woof is how I would describe that. That smoke. I'm buying me some tampons regularly. That is sick. Those chips were a sweaty being. The burger was tragic. The Coca Cola was just perfectly normal Coca Cola, but that's not the point. The wings, they smell so much like guff. A serious amount of guffage. And now it's gorgeous, which ultimately what we have learned is that sometimes you can look bad. You can look bad almost the whole time of the year. But when you spruce yourself up, you spruce yourself up well, right? You take presentations seriously and you can, you can be whoever you want. You can be the sweaty burger, you can be the sweaty chips, but you can also be on a Friday night, a big old saucy beef patty.
It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, this, the smoke is so sick. I'm actually, I'm well chuffed with smoke. It's going for like a good amount of time as well. The Coke does look a bit like Ribena, but I like Ribena, so. I'm gonna start lying almost all the time. What's the difference between lying and a trick? Hmm? It's admitting it eventually. That's the only difference. I just love how big and like how, how nice the burger looks and surprisingly the fries as well. I think that was one of the easiest things to do and visually it's one of the most impressive ones. Right now, now that we have completed that bit, Con's gonna get some added smoke in there because we don't actually have a massive tampon. Holy shit. Does that look good? Looks like we're, we're trapped in a vortex. Hell's kitchen has opened and a burger and chips and Coke is on the menu. I like how the Coke is still fizzy and the ice looks so cold. Oh, I've got to make sure not to go too side on. Let's see the lies and the deceit. Spin it, spin it, spin it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>